Savitina from the Soviet Union. And that's the way a handspring front one and a half with the half twist should be done. It was a fraction better than an Odis in my opinion because she straightened out from the half twist. She was Savitina won the vault in the 1990 Goodwill Games. Really been on the international circuit for quite some time. Nice straight line before coming into floor there. Good vault. Oksana Shusevitina, 9.925. Not quite uh, matching up to Anodis. Must have had less distance. And full twisting Sukahara. So two good vaults under her belt, two 10 tariffs. And it's very nice to see a Soviet gymnast not performing a Yachenko. And a Nodi sharing silver. In fact, that caption wrong. Juntus with the lead with a 9.962. Oksana. Chusovatina, now from the Soviet Union, is up next. And the floor exercise is like a tumble off in this event. They're all trying to one up each other. Watch this first tumbling pass. It's a double layout. And watch where she puts the full twist. On the second somersault, that is tough. Charge. This is great music for her. Tina, 16 years old. We have a new leader by the way in a parallel bar. Kovacinski of the Soviet Union, the 9825. We'll be back with more of our competition in just a moment. Commonwealth of Independent States teammate Oksana Chusovitina from the Republic of Uzbekistan is getting ready for her first attempt at the ball. She's one of the most powerful gymnasts in the world. She tied for the silver medal in this event during the World Championships with Henrietta Anodi. Beautiful. Laid out Sukahara with a full twist. Also worth a 10.0. Highly difficult. Watch her hand placement, which enables her to really push off the horse. The legs stay together, laid out. It's the same vault that we all saw Mary Lou do in 1984 and do so well. It's really one of the more difficult vaults. Most people have gone to the round-off vaults, but because of the event final rules, they must do two different vaults, and this is an excellent second vault. Kathy Korbczynski's score, 9.812 in the floor exercise, puts him in first place ahead of teammate Sherbo. 
And Chusa Beaton is scoring her vault, 9.925, slightly behind Onodi and Bogan Sky after one attempt. Her second vault is a handspring front vault with a half twist laid out. Actually, it will be in pike position, just like Henrietta Onodi's. Very nice heel drive. We'll see in the replay that she really comes off the board, very strong, drives her heels, which gives her more height and more rotation. You can really see how powerful she is here. Drives those heels over the horse, into the somersault, opens up the arms for a perfect landing. Chusa Beaton has score on her second attempt, 9.950 for an average of 9.937, and that moves her into third place. So the results are now official at the World Championships in the women's vault. Henrietta Onodi from Hungary wins the gold. The former Soviets, the Commonwealth of Independent States takes the silver and the bronze with Boganskaya and Chusevitina. American Carrie Strzok finished sixth. Oksana Chusevitina. Now Chusevitina is the reserve and the replacement for Shannon Miller. All around gold medalist choosing not to take part in this vault final. Chusovitina looking to take the lead away from the Belarusian Pizquin. 9.762 aggregate leading score. Again, we see the handspring front with a half turn in the pike shape. Nine point nine tariff. Lacking a little bit in flight. And a one tenth deduction for that landing. A lot of the girls choosing to do this vault, which is now quite a high tariff. Once again, cameras find Pisquin at nine point seven five zero. It's a good start for Chusovatina. She can repeat that. Good enough to go in first into first position. Second vault. So this could be for a gold medal. Sukahara vaults we've seen here today. That was a full twisting straight Sukahara. Well, let's not forget, if you go back to the World Championships of 1991 in Indianapolis. Good landing. Chusovatina there was a silver medalist. So she certainly got the experience. She's been in this position before. And by grace of the gods, or certainly by the grace of Shanna Miller, she is given the opportunity as the first reserve to get into this final. Has she done enough? It seems to be enough to take first position. That vote marked out 9.8. 9718. Well, I'm sorry, Haley, to interrupt. I'm wrong again. Third position for Jusso Bettina. talked about Oksana Chusevitna here of Uzbekistan, a mother, an older gymnast now qualified to the final. She's made a recent comeback, front tights with a full twist. Her first world championships were in 1991. So great to see her back on the scene and competing very successfully with these talented youngsters. A little step to the side, there will be a deduction. That is something new in the women's vault. They have that landing zone and there'll be a tenth deduction for stepping over the sideline. 9287 out of a 98 first score for Chusevitna who is 24 years old. She has to get a better landing here if she hopes to win a medal. The Sukahara with a one and a half twist and a much better landing. She'll be happy with that one. Tiny country of Uzbekistan. Oksana Chusevitna. 
see why it's a different style of vault. She does a half on onto the horse, a one and a half twist, keeps this one nice and square down the center of the mat. Very few landing deductions. She's been through a lot with her longtime coach, Svetlana Kuznetsova. 27-year-old Oksana Chusovitina. Recently, her three-year-old son, Alisher, diagnosed with leukemia. He has been undergoing chemotherapy, and obviously, she has a lot on her mind at these championships. I am hopeful because yesterday he had another operation to remove the dispenser that's doing the chemotherapy, and the results of this analysis that were done afterwards were better, and I'm hoping he'll be better as the chemotherapy goes on. Chris, she's one of the most beloved figures in gymnastics at 27 years old, still competitive on the world scale, and a lot of her friends and family have reached out to help the son, Alisher. She's living right now in Cologne, Germany, where some gymnastics friends have arranged for them to get treatments at a hospital there. First fall. Whoa, look at the power. Laid out front with one and a half twist, and she just bounced out of the landing. She's an amazing athlete. At 27 years old, she's made three Olympics. She's already had an Olympic gold medal as a part of the unified team way back in Barcelona in 92. If she could make the Olympics again in Athens, would be a four-time Olympian, which just doesn't happen in women's gymnastics these days. The 1991 world champion on floor. She gets a 9-4-6-2, which is good. So the second vault coming up. Oksana Chusovitina. This should be a Sukahara with a one and a half twist, nine eight start value. All right, good power. But I don't think it's going to be enough to beat that young lady, Zamalochikova, who had a little higher start value and cleaner landings throughout. Good form, one and a half twister. It's incredible that she's managed to still stay so competitive on a world scale. Her fitness level is obvious. She's very strong, very quick, and that's allowing her to stay competitive. A 9-3-1-2, so a little bit lower score on vault number two, but her total score is outstanding, 9-3-8-7, so she moves into second place. On the vault, and now an athlete with a, a very heart-wrenching story, Oksana Chusovitina on the vault. One of the oldest gymnasts here. She has a son back in Germany right now. It's being treated for leukemia. Very powerful vaulter. Front entry. Wow. wow. Handspring one and a half twist. That's just amazing. She's, she's a seven time medalist at the World Championship. She's a three time Olympian. She won the gold on floor exercise 12 years ago in 91. Wow. Front hand spring front with the one and a half twist. A little bit of form breaks right there with her feet coming apart, but a very difficult bolt. She said that she wants to do well at these world championships because if she could do well, maybe win a medal, that notoriety might help her raise the funds to treat her son who's suffering from leukemia in Germany. She's married to a Greco-Roman wrestler on their Olympic team. Bakodir Kurpanov is her husband's name. Getting ready for a second vault. Front entry again. Sukahara, wow. one and a half. She barely touched that line. We'll see if they give her a deduction for that, but those are two very powerful vaults. Well, now she competes for Uzbekistan. Her son is being treated in Germany because uh, someone heard of her story in Europe and they flew her son to Germany to treat him for his cancer. She could win a medal, I'll tell you. This is very, very, very powerful vaults. We've got a few more vaults to go, though. Beautiful form on that one and a half twist. 28 years old, a long history in the sport. That's kind of ancient, isn't it, Amanda? Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, a 9.41, currently in first place. We gotta see if this is gonna hold, but she could be the world vault champion. She's coached in Russia by Leonid Arkayev, one of the great coaches, a 9.443.
And so Oksana Chusevitna is the world vault champion. What a very, very heartwarming story for her. The gold medal from Uzbekistan, Oksana Chusevitna. From Uzbekistan, Oksana Chusevitna. Por sacar a su hijo adelante, que tiene 3, 4 años y lleva casi un año internado en un hospital de Alemania con leucemia. Ella continúa en la gimnasia para poder conseguir premios, para poder ganar dinero en las pruebas de Copa del Mundo y aquí en los mundiales. So Sacramento takes over the lead from Zemelchukova with Shabatki in third. Now, Oksana Chusevitna. What a record this marvelous gymnast has from 91 to 2003. She's been in every world championship, second, third, third. Fifth, second, third, and first. And believe it or not, in between time, she had time to have a baby. <laughs> She's certainly a remarkable gymnast. This is her eighth world championships, and every single one of them she's been in the vault final. Same bowl as Sacramone, actually. No, sorry, she's uh, done it slightly differently. And spring layout, one and a half twist, but she sets it up differently. So, 9.9 9 start value. Actually, it is exactly the same vaults as Sacramone. Some leg form errors. She's got better distance. She's 30 years of age. The most popular woman on the on the gymnastics circuit. Now, start value, as Liz said, 9.9, .9, and a score of 9.437. That is very, very good. And that's exactly the same score that Sacramone got for her vault, the same vault. So she needs to beat 9.387. Take the outright lead. Wouldn't it be remarkable if she scored, she gets another medal? 1991, a time span of 13 years and meddling steadily all along the way. 14 years. It's good. Lisa Sacramone knows it's good, and she applauds her. And Chusevitna now lives in Germany. Just doing so well, and she says she'll make it. She's certainly trying for Beijing, and she'll make a decision after that whether she'll carry on for London. <laughs> but... Early representation was with UWSR, then of course in 92 for CIS and now competing for Uzbekistan. When do you think she'll retire? Well, anyone's guess. Here comes the score. Catapults her into first place. 9.418. She leads by six thousandths of a point from Elisa Sacramone yeah. of the United States. Uzbekistan first, USA second, Russia third. Sí, están más o menos puntuando a un punto por cada salto de penalización. Chusovitina, 1 de 6.30 del grupo 2. Hace el salto que lleva su nombre, que es una inversión adelante con un mortal adelante con el cuerpo extendido y piruta y media. Sí, ahora no, no hace una rondada antes del salto. Muy bien. Y ha hecho paloma. En plancha con piruete y media, que yo creo que te sirve el hecho de caer mirando al caballo para, 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 po para poder frenar y recepcionar bien. Una gimnasia es... veterana que, que muy pocas veces la ve fallar. Este salto lo, lo inventó, vamos, lo hice ya por primera vez y cuando 
un gimnasta hace un elemento nuevo, un salto nuevo y el comité de técnico de la FIC se lo reconoce como novedad, eh, incluye su nombre en el código, es el salto que lleva su nombre. Muchas veces decimos el Kovacs, el sí. eh, Roche, el Corquina, todos estos son elementos nuevos. A Carballo tiene también alguno. Mm elementos o saltos nuevos que han hecho los gimnastas y que... Sí, muchas veces no, no nos damos cuenta ¿no? de qué elemento es, pero hay que decirlo por su nombre. Sí, sí. No vale inventarse las palabras adecuadas para ese elemento. ...15-275... ...a ver el segundo, la de 5-70... ...baja un poquito, es un salto del grupo 3... Bueno, el hecho de hacer dos saltos de 5,85-70 yo creo que, que es una candidata firme de, demuestra, para... demuestra regularidad, es un Sukajara entra de lado y hace pirueta y media en el segundo vuelo. El Sukajara y el Sukasamatsu se entran... Más o menos de lado, sí. no llegan a entrar de frente ni tampoco de espaldas, de lado más o menos. Apoyando primero una mano y luego, y luego la otra un poquito más arriba. ¿Ves? Esta es otra de las gimnastas que cae simpática a la gente. Sí, ahora ha entrado de, de Kasamatsu y ha hecho un, un giro y medio. Que a las chicas pues bonifica mucho más el hecho de no hacer el Durchenko, que es sí. el poner la, la colchonetita para, para hacer la rondada, apoyar con los pies, hacer medio giro y hacer el segundo vuelo. Muy bien. No sé si se ha salido... En el saltito ha puesto un pie fuera Creo que ha puesto un pie fuera y eso le, le va a restar una décima extra Además del paso Pero bueno, ha hecho dos buenos saltos Se coloca muy bien en el, en el, en el aire ¿eh? Sí, sobre todo cuando estás en el aire Y el hecho de ponerte pues rígido Haciendo es, los giros Estirado, ves, ves no el montar suelo. un pie del otro Sí, estar, estar bloqueado ¿no? Yo creo que, que ves el suelo muy bien Ves el caballo donde está y sabes cómo tienes que caer Por eso esas notas se va a la primera posición, le han dado 15-100 en el segundo salto y 14-925 es la nota que le califica que se coloca primera. Y sale ahora Alicia Sacramone. What can you say? Oksana Shusevitana won her first gold medal of the World Championships when the rest of this field in this vault final weren't even born. So that is unbelievable. And she's still here. She's still a contender. And look at that. One and a half twist. No nonsense. What an advertisement she is for the sport. Look at the attack. One and a half turns. She hardly moved to the side. Beautiful vault. 6.3 difficulty. 15066. Now then, she'd love a medal, she'd love it to be gold, but it has to be around a 15-6, can she do it? Oh, it's clean. It's a one and a half twist that she opted to do. So the tariff will keep her down, but she performed it well. This is a medal vault. Question is, what color? One and a half twists, dead center once again. She really is a phenomenon in women's gymnastics. Super. Now, has she got another medal? She has. Amazing. Six time Olympian. Only one other athlete who's done that is the Bulgarian Jordan Yovchak. But for a woman gymnast who's the mother of a 15 year old boy, to be a finalist on ball is just mind boggling, isn't it, Amanda? It is mind boggling. I, I can't imagine <laughs> continuing to compete, and I am slightly younger than her. Wow, you should be out there. <laughs> and your kids are only, what, six and four? Yes. <laughs> she is the oldest of the 410 gymnasts in Antwerp for these finals. And most of them, she's twice their age or more. in the building is of enormous appreciation because
she is so well loved by the gymnastics world considering what a great example she is. Look at her fitness level at 38 years old. And she literally is a legitimate contender. It's not like she's here as a token competitor. Here she is again in the vault final. A great form on this vault. See just a little bit too much rotation on that landing. You have to wonder at her age how many repetitions Thanks of for this the feel, the feel skill that she does. Because I can imagine at 38 years old, your body can't do what it did when it was 16, 17 years old. So not doing as many repetitions. Details like that landing sometimes that are affected. But enjoying the moment. So with both of her vaults complete now, the scores. 14583 